dark matter. It's the most mysterious substance in the universe. Little is known about it. Scientists are pretty sure it exists, but still don't know what it is. Galaxies in our universe are in a perpetual motion and seem to be achieving an impossible feat. Since their rotational velocity is so high, the gravity produced by their observable matter should not be able to keep them together. Instead, they should have torn themselves apart a long time ago. The same holds true for galaxies and clusters, leading astronomers to think that something unseen is at play. They hypothesize that something we haven't been able to directly detect is adding mass to these galaxies, creating the additional gravity they require to maintain their structures. Due to its invisibility, this mysterious substance has been dubbed dark matter. In fact, scientists have just announced that they found a portal to the fifth dimension through interactions with dark matter. To bridge the gap between the cosmic realms of light and dark, scientists are searching to find a hypothetical particle that can serve as a portal to a warped fifth dimension. You could be forgiven for mistaking this line for a science fiction plot summary, but it is actually the mind-boggling conclusion of a recent study that aims to shed light on some of science's most enduring mysteries. The existence of this hypothetical particle could give a natural explanation for the abundance of dark matter an undiscovered substance that comprises the majority of the mass of the cosmos, and resolve intractable problems regarding subatomic particles known as fermions. But what exactly is this dark matter? Where does it come from? And how do scientists study dark matter? Let us go over them one by one. Dark matter Unlike normal matter, dark matter doesn't interact with the electromagnetic force. Since it doesn't react to light in any way, either by absorbing it, reflecting it, or giving off any, it's nearly impossible to detect. Scientists have only been able to deduce the presence of dark matter based on the gravitational influence it appears to have on regular matter. Dark matter seems to have about six times as much mass as visible matter. It makes up about 27% of the universe. Consider this frightening reality. Only 5% of the universe is made up of matter we are familiar with, which includes all of the stars and galaxies. So. What's the composition of dark matter? It's possible that it contains supersymmetric particles, which are hypothetical companions to the standard model's known particles. Further insight into dark matter may be gleaned through experiments at the Large Hadron Collider. The dark matter particles, according to several hypotheses, would be small enough to be created in the Large Hadron Collider. Produced in the LHC, they would slip past the detectors undetected. However, they would remove energy and momentum from a collision, allowing physicists to deduce their existence by measuring the missing energy and momentum. Dark matter candidates come up a lot in theories that go beyond the standard model, like supersymmetry and extra dimensions, which suggest that there is more to physics than the standard model. According to one idea, there is a hidden valley, a parallel universe composed of dark matter that shares few properties with the matter we are familiar with. If any of these ideas turned out to be correct, it would provide researchers a new window into the structure of the universe and, in particular, how galaxies are held together. Dark Energy Dark energy accounts for approximately 68% of the cosmos and appears to be related with the vacuum in space. It is spread out evenly across the universe, both in space and in time. This means that its effect doesn't get weaker as the universe grows. Due to its uniform distribution, dark energy does not affect the local gravitational fields of galaxies, but rather the entire cosmos. As a result, a repulsion force is generated, which causes the expansion of the cosmos to quicken. It is possible to use observations to determine the expansion rate and acceleration using the Hubble law. It is thanks to these observations, together with other scientific evidence, that we can now affirm the existence of dark energy and put a number on its abundance. But how is dark matter linked to the fifth dimension? This is the dawning of the age of Kaluza Klein. Most of the time we think of space as having three spatial dimensions and one temporal dimension. For instance, in a well-organized city, the location of a meeting would require not only the two-dimensional coordinates of a cross street, like 6th Street and 4th Avenue, but also the height, like 6th floor, and the time of the meeting. These four dimensions are collectively referred to as space-time coordinates in the field of physics. Many theoretical physicists, however, have speculated that at extremely small sizes, there may be more dimensions beyond the familiar left-to-right 
top to bottom and front to back. Several unexplained aspects of nature, such as particle masses or the nature of dark matter, could be explained by such a composition. In the 1920s, people began to consider the possibility of dimensions beyond the three we normally experience. Theodore Kaluza and Oscar Klein were two physicists looking for a theory that could bring together electromagnetic and gravity at the time. The group initially hypothesized that there could be more than what we think of as space and time in the universe. In the 1990s, when physicists discovered that including more dimensions in their equations made it easy to solve various issues in particle physics, this concept made significant progress. Let the subatomic particle in. Not surprisingly, elementary particles are seen to have a wide range of masses. These masses exhibit predictable but otherwise mysterious regularities. The enigma may have been solved by Stanford professor Yuval Grossman and his former Cornell colleague, Professor Matthias Neubert. When they added a fifth dimension to the standard model of physics, they were able to explain these patterns of mass for the first time. This pair also works to predict the observed concentration of dark matter around the cosmos. Twenty years later, Professor Matthias Neubert of Johannes Gutenberg University, Mainz, found that if there were a fifth dimension, it would make a super-heavy particle that had never been seen before. This hypothetical particle would share certain properties with the better-known Higgs boson, but it would be significantly heavier. This hypothetical particle would have a mass well in excess of anything achievable by existing particle accelerators, including the Large Hadron Collider at CERN in Geneva. There has never been a method to put the hypothesis of a fifth dimension to the test, despite the fact that physicists are as confident as they come in their understanding of the standard model. The standard model is a well-established theory that describes the building blocks of matter and their interactions at very small distances, and its discovery of the Higgs boson at the LHC was the final piece of the puzzle. Some concerns, however, remain unanswered within the SM, as the authors of a new study report in European Physical Journal C. The hypothetical particle in question would serve as a go-between for a force between standard fundamental particles and dark matter. Scientists believe these interactions might be measurable in the lab, offering the first direct evidence of higher dimensional space. Searching for the fifth dimension through dark matter Theoretical physicists at the Johannes Gutenberg University Mainz, Prisma Plus Cluster of Excellence, are developing a theory that extends beyond the standard model of particle physics and can provide explanations for phenomena that the standard model cannot explain, such as the hierarchy of the particle masses and the possible existence of dark matter. One of the key components of the theory is an additional space-time dimension. The inability to experimentally verify theoretical predictions has long been a challenge for scientists. They report their success in solving this issue in a paper appearing in the current volume of the European Physical Journal C. They made a surprising discovery. The existence of a new, heavy particle with properties similar to those of the famous Higgs boson, but at a much heavier mass so heavy that it cannot be produced even at the highest energy particle accelerators. One of the PhD students engaged in the study, Javier Castellano Ruiz, recalled the experience as a nightmare, adding, We were intrigued by the thought that our theory predicts a new particle, but it appeared to be impossible to test this prediction in any conceivable experiment. The Detour Through the Fifth Dimension Researchers revealed their groundbreaking answer to this conundrum in the European Physical Journal C. Upon further investigation, they found that their hypothesized particle would have to act as a mediator of a new force between the known elementary particles, the stuff of our observable world, and the enigmatic dark matter, the dark sector. Their hypothesis can explain everything from the existence of dark matter to the results of astrophysical investigations, showing that there is a lot of it in the universe. This provides intriguing new opportunities to investigate the mechanics of the early cosmos when dark matter was formed and to seek out its constituents, quite literally by taking a detour via the extra dimension. Matthias Neubert, the team's leader, says, quote, After years of searching for possible confirmations of our theoretical predictions, we are now confident that the mechanism we have discovered would make the dark matter accessible to forthcoming experiments. This confidence stems from the fact that the properties of the new interaction between ordinary matter and dark matter, which is mediated by our proposed particle, can be calculated accurately within the framework of the team's theory. In the end, so our hope, the new particle may be discovered first through its interactions with the dark sector. This example nicely illustrates the fruitful interplay between experimental and theoretical basic science. 
a hallmark of the Prisma Plus cluster of excellence. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, do you think we can observe a fifth dimension through interactions with the dark matter? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.